What's up guys, so we are over here at Danny's shop. He already switched over his machine so he can drill these out. Kind of got everything lined up where it needs to be. He's got the Y axis, Z axis, F axis, V axis. <laughs> All right guys, so before we continue on with this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to Simply Safe Home Security. They sponsored today's video. And if you guys haven't heard of this company, uh, they are really good home security. They monitor 24 seven and they also have police dispatch. So if something goes wrong, they send the police straight here. And it's also easy to set up. You could either set it up on your phone uh, through the app, or you could also set it up through the keypad that we have here. So this keypad comes off the wall as well. Uh, we have the home base here. You got to start with the home base, and then it'll just it'll go through some instructions, and you just follow through. You could add the entries. It's super easy. It tells you everything you need to do. Um, so when someone comes in, you can see it through the keypad. It gives you an alert. You could hear it. It'll tell you front door entry has been opened. Uh, we have entries throughout the shop. Um, we just named them all. So this one's the front door. We got the garage and then we got the garage door as well. Um, let's go and show you some of the sensors. So in the office, we have a glass breaking detector. So we just set it up here because the windows and the front door is glass. So if someone tries to break in and let's say that they don't open up the door so the entry doesn't go off, then this glass detector will go off and we'll know something is going on here. We also have a temperature sensor here and this one's actually pretty cool. This is a panic button. So for any reason, we need the cops just to come out um, as soon as possible. There's an emergency. We just hit that button and they just come straight out. Uh, we also have the motion detector set up here. We got a couple of them throughout the whole shop. Uh, these are really easy to install. A lot of these are just sticky tape, so you just stick it right onto the wall. Uh, we have the carbon monoxide monitor here. This is good just in case there's some fumes coming in the office and you know, if it's not safe, it's gonna alarm us there. If you come in the shop, um, we have a smoke detector up here, just in case there's like a fire or something, it'll detect that. And we also have some interior cameras. Uh, here's one of the cameras. This camera, I could actually go through the app and watch live at any time. So when I'm not here, if I just go to the app, here is the overview. So I just refreshed it just to see what's going on here. Um, it says everything is okay. You can see that it's off. I can arm it from here, either home or away. We got, this is the live footage from the camera in the garage. It tells us the temperature in the office is 70 degrees. So if I wanted to look at the camera in the garage, I'll click on this. I could watch it live. So right now there's Todd right there. I could also hit this button. Yo, Todd. <laughs> what up? Yo, man. So yeah, you can talk to anybody on the camera here. Um, there's a lot of cool little things. You could add a camera here and to set it up, I already set it up so I can't really go through that, but it's super easy. You can just do it through here. So as you guys know, we just got into this shop and we have a lot of valuable stuff in here. So um, just having them on our side, I feel like my stuff is more protected when I'm not here. And I feel like that's very important. You can save 20% off your Simply Safe security system if you just sign up for an interactive monitoring plan. And you could also get your first month free. So if you guys want to head over to simplysafe.com forward slash Emilio's world, you guys can learn more there. Uh, let's get back to the video. Every time Danny talks to me about this machine, he's like, yeah, the Y-axis, x -ax. I'm like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, dude. It's not that complicated. <laughs> Look at all these levers. <laughs> it's not that complicated. It's like playing a video game. It's very expensive. <laughs> very expensive video game. I heard someone call you Lieutenant Dan in the last video now, comments, that bro. Gross. That's pretty funny. Dude. <laughs> uh, I tell my whole family call me Lieutenant Dan now. Yeah. No, that's his new nickname, you know, dude. So, look, I don't even have my my, my cap on. Oh, <laughs> my man. bandana. We gotta get you back in the bandana in the wheelchair, yeah, bro. Holy <laughs> crap, bro. All right, so we got Lieutenant Danny here. What happens that when you leave, your, you know, I I took. Why did I take it off? Oh, I washed my hair. That's what I was doing. Oh, actually, you're not allowed to wash your hair, dude. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. Alright. Alright, we're right on. Oh, I'm done with my uh, step stool. A rotary? A rotary step stool. Yeah. yeah. My Crocs. I don't know how my boys, the Vargas brothers, are gonna <laughs> like that. <laughs> Need 
snap on. Tap and die. This is what we need, baby. Then we can get the motor in tomorrow. Yeah, man. I'm excited. Good old Honda, man. She's coming back. How excited are you, bro? I'm, I'm pretty excited, dude. Slowly but surely, you know? Yeah. We got all our numbers here. Boom, boom, boom. That steak was good. It was really good. That, that burnt, really good. the good burnt grill steak. Oh yeah. The grill that was burnt. <laughs> How did that grill blow up? <laughs> it just I turned back and the whole thing. I don't fun. know, dude. But that, I could hear it on. It didn't know. Why did you switch it back? We got the chamfer on there. Row your boat. One more hole. Lock, lock, lock. Tap time, tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap it in. <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of stuff happening with this machine. My workout for the jet ski. Guys, watch. It <laughs> <laughs> might be episode three, actually. I think right. we'll fail again. The next time we'll fail again, and then we're gonna have to hit the gym again. We got Todd with us now, so he's gonna have to try it, so he can see how we feel, bro. <laughs> I will feel accomplished if I ever actually succeed. We will get up on that jet ski. If you don't know what we're talking about, it was that jet ski video that I did. I don't know. It was like four or five videos ago. We're going to get it. Stand up or what? You stand up, yeah. I think I should just duct tape my wrist to the damn handlebar. Bro, that would be hilarious if you fell off of it and like it just drags him along. Drags him underwater. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> it, bro? No, Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan's not gonna get <laughs> I love the other one for you. Man, that's Look it. Damn. There's one right there. A lot better Drop. than your old holes. Oh, yeah. We didn't have no holes. <laughs> Not enough holes. All right, we got one more hole, and then we're good on the plate. That's it. Look at that. Done deal, dude. <laughs> Nice and clean. There we go. All right. Well, we got the plate done. Tomorrow we got some work to do. Yeah, but. Wow. Yeah. Got so an extra bolt, man. You want to mass produce these things or what? <laughs> we are going to. Yeah, I think we're close. We're close. That's all we really needed. Last thing is uh, to get that dowel to just sit down forever. Yeah. We don't want it to move. That is the we'll figure that out though. All we have to do is scan it. Try that out. Once you know, once you know these, all your holes are set, we scan it. Yeah. 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 yeah perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. We're good. All right. So we went ahead and changed these bushings out. They just came in, and we also got the plate on the motor already. So we're about to drop it back down. And Get this bad boy back in there. Nice, got the other starter bolt in there. Hmm. You know how careful I was with this one bolt because I didn't want it to strip. I yeah, only like had that. one before. Yeah. So the problem was, um, I don't know if I explained it in the other video. So this plate was made for a K-series starter. So it, it's made for the starter to go on this side. So they had a um, hole for it and that hole was in a way of putting um, a bolt for this starter. 
So we had to basically weld that hole shut and then re-thread it so we can get two bolts on this starter because we're using the Subaru starter. So the motor's back in. We also put this extra bolt in here. Just feel like everything is just a lot tighter now. So we just left the garage at the house and we picked up a bunch of parts. Todd's car is fully loaded right now. We got so many parts in here. I'll show you guys what we got in here, but these are all the parts that are going in uh, the turbo hatch. I think you guys will be excited. All right, so we also stopped by Home Depot on the way home and grabbed two of these high bay lights. So I wanted to show you guys what it looked like in here with just the lights that are on with a garage door shut. So you can see how dark it is in here. This light was working in the beginning and that one went out. And all we have is the one, two, the three lights that are out here. So it is pretty dark in here. So once I get these figured out where I'm gonna hang them up, uh, once we get them up, then I will show you guys the difference between the two. So these were the brightest ones they had there. These are 30,000 lumens. So that should be plenty for here. Let there be light. <laughs> it's pretty light, too. Yeah, it's not heavy at all. You see? I'm going to lift it with one hand. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right. They got heavy. Is there like a hook? I think in that bag. Yeah, there's no. We can just probably just hook it up to that. Right on there. Right on that thing. There you go. It will be solid. Did I hit the breakers? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this thing is bright, dude. Whoa. Yeah, that's good. Bro, that it's super bright. Yeah, let's shut the garage and see how much brighter it is already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one already. And we got two of these, so... <laughs> And we also, it came with this dome. Let's see what it looks like with the dome. See if it changes anything. Hmm, put it back on. At least that makes it to where it doesn't blind you when you look up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just put it on. I can't see anything, I dude. Can't see you, bro. <laughs> I wanted to close the garage to turn the light on so we could see the second one, but I can't see anything, bro. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got both of them set up. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Bro, it's so bright in here. Hell yeah, that's what we needed, that man. So we're thinking about putting another one there, but I don't even think we need it. No, once we got the bench with the LEDs underneath of it. Yeah, we'll be we'll good. Be perfect. Jesus, so much better. Look at the car, man. You can actually see it now. You could actually see me now that I'm filming. <laughs> yeah, because I was filming yesterday and like I had this clip that I was reviewing and you couldn't even see me. Now you can see me better. You're yeah, right. we'll, we'll still get some lights here just so that way it can, no matter what angle we're at. But I don't think we need that bright of a light. But yeah, I like it. Yep, we got the parts truck here. Bro, this thing is so full. So full. <laughs> we got parts everywhere, dude. Bro. So we're gonna unload all this stuff and get it out, and uh, we'll show you what we got. So this is all the stuff we just took out of the car. I'm going to start opening up a couple of these boxes uh, to show you guys what's here. Uh, but I think we're going to go ahead and wash the hatch up real quick. And then we're also going to start cleaning this car out because we're going to start working on it. We're going to see what parts that we have in here. 
these all these parts will end up on this car at some point and yeah there's a lot of goodies in there man water pressure sucks we got a filter at the end of this She's all cleaned up. Man, she cleans up nice. Let's get her back in. Man, I don't know if people are gonna be ready for this, man. There's a lot of goodies. So we're still going through boxes. We're laying everything basically out that we have for the car right now. And just so you can see a little glimpse already. <laughs> all right, guys, so this is everything laid out. There is so many parts. So we have uh, the built block here, this is LA sleeved, fully built block. We got the built head. You can see we have the roller rockers in there, some Ferreira uh, cams. We went with a couple of Gato parts here. We got the uh, turbo manifold. We got the intake manifold. We got a precision bad boy turbo. I mean, the list goes on. We got the FCS all wheel drive kit. So we are going all wheel drive. Uh, there was a video we made and I kind of gave a hint and some of you guys guessed it Some of you guys were wishing it and it is true. We're going all-wheel drive. So we got the FT 600 We're going with the fuel tech. We got a bunch of fuel tech goodies here kind of all laid out There's still some stuff in boxes some little stuff. We still have some parts on the way and uh, Yeah, this is probably what? 40,000 right here. Oh, yeah, easy easy forty thousand dollars there either. Yeah, that's the trans is really nice, too mm -hmm. And that'll be coming here soon. So this is all the parts that we have so far laid out uh, We plan on getting this car ready pretty soon. We have everything we need to just start knocking it out yeah. So we're gonna get to work on this stuff I just kind of wanted to lay everything out and show you guys what we're working with We'll go into more detail as we put the parts on the car and get it together But I'm just gonna pan real quick so you guys can see this is all upgraded diff right here, upgraded viscous. We got the Hasport mounts there. We got the K-Tune shifter. They're just speed factory goodies. The Magnus slipper pump there. Uh, there's just a lot of goodies in here, man. Yeah, so I'd say uh, she's gonna be making some power once we get her all done. You guys saw the cage was all done. We still have some parts in here, but I think we're going to paint the cage while everything is out. We still got to take this stuff from the floor, all this sound detonating stuff, and we'll get to work in here. We're going to take the fuel cell out. Oh, we still got some stuff under the hood, too. We got, uh, see if we can get that open. Yeah, we went with the Speed Factory tank we have it up there so we're just going to run it straight to a mechanical pump which we don't have yet but it is on the way so i hope you guys are excited we have been saving up parts for a while now and everything is close to here so we're going to get on this car very soon it's going to be done i mean we're trying to get this car done in less than a month so i mean we'll see how that goes you know you always run into some parts that you can't get or you're waiting on but uh, we got plenty of parts to start putting this thing together uh, this car went a 9.8 is the fastest it's went. It was uh, a built GSR motor with a stock GSR transmission. Uh, we did put a built transmission in it and then we just had some shifting issues with it and then we kind of fixed it and then the motor blew and it, it went through some things but uh, this time around we were just like you know what got rid of the transmission got the all-wheel drive transmission and then started collecting all this other you know stuff to get it together and uh, yeah this is where we're at now. So shout out to all the companies that were a part of this. I mean, we got Fuel Tech, uh, FCS, Speed Factory, K-Tune, uh, Ferreira. Um, if I missed a few, oh, we got Gato over there. I appreciate all you guys, and I hope we make you guys proud.